coronavirus pandemic tonight, hospitals in North Texas are warning that they are seeing more and more patients with COVID-19. And some businesses in the state are already having to roll back to tighten restrictions as cases climb. Andrea Lucia took a look tonight at what it could mean for North Texas. All new at 10. The most popular salsa is uh, table sauce, which is this one right here. Cheetos restaurant started as a hole in the wall next to a gas station. It was so popular, within 10 years, Sandra Correa moved to this busy corner on Frisco's Main Street. Everybody's raving about the food. But this past year, she wasn't sure her business would survive. Uh, it is very hard. The actual pandemic coming in, you don't prepare for things like that. With COVID-19 cases climbing again, she worries about another shutdown. That's constantly in my mind. When the governor allowed restaurants and other businesses to expand to 75% occupancy levels, he did it on one condition. COVID-19 hospitalizations in their area had to stay low. Three areas have now hit the threshold for businesses to roll back to 50% occupancy. COVID patients there have taken up more than 15% of hospital beds for seven days straight. In trauma service area E, where we are, COVID patients now fill about 9.5% of hospital beds. The hospitals are concerned. Uh, we are gradually going up every day. DFW Hospital Council CEO no Steve Love says the situation is back to where it was in early August. The solution, he says, is to keep wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands. If we do that, most physicians tell me they think we can keep the economy open. But if we let our guard down and we have community spread, that's when potentially you may have to go back to a lockdown. Even if she's not forced to close, Sandra says a surge could shake consumer confidence. She says she's kept the number of diners here low and tables well spaced, hoping to keep her customers coming back. But I want to make sure that everybody feels safe and that everybody feels like they're in a place where they can actually have dinner. In Frisco, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.